How's it going everyone? It is Pangino here and in this video we're going to be going over a few quick easy optimizations in which you can apply to any Windows 11 PC to de-bloat the PC, reduce overall CPU usage and increase performance across the board for both programs, video editing, Photoshop and games. De-bloating Windows 11 is incredibly easy, highly customizable and we're going to be covering all of that and more in this video. If you do enjoy this video and are happy with your results, please do consider leaving a like and a comment for the YouTube algorithm as it helps me out tremendously. With all of that and more coming straight after a message from today's video sponsor. Tired of seeing the activate Windows watermark, built a new PC, or just want to own Windows at a major discount, head over to WhoKeys to purchase a Windows 10, 11, Home, or Pro OEM key at a major discount. Make sure to use code PAN20 for a further 20% off at checkout, where you can use a safe and secure payment method such as PayPal. Once your key is delivered, simply input the key inside of Windows, and boom, you're now completely activated and own Windows forever. You'll now have access to all features and no more watermark. Thanks again to WhoKeys for sponsoring today's video. Before we do anything, we're quickly going to set up a system restore point so we can go through all of the optimizations inside of this video safely, quickly, and easily. This also makes this 100% safe to do as you can just try it out and revert it back at any time. To set up a system restore point, navigate down to your Windows button and type in restore. Click on create a restore point, navigate down to your C drive, navigate down to configure. Ensure that turn on system protection has been checked, set your maximum usage to about 5%, press apply, press OK. Navigate down to your C drive once again, this time clicking on create, then simply name your restore point. We'll just call this dbloat. For the first optimization, this is going to be relatively basic, but very effective. To start off with this, you'll need to open up your Windows Task Manager. So for this, simply press Control, Alt, Delete on your keyboard, then open up Task Manager. Head up to the Startup tab. Every single application which has the status set to enabled is going to automatically open up and boot every single time you log into your system. Not only will this slow down startup and login times, but this will also slow Slow down your system as every single program that is open in the background is taking up CPU cycles and RAM usage. Disabling any of these applications doesn't mean you won't be able to use them, it will just mean if you want to use something like Steam, you just have to manually go and boot into Steam yourself. Inside of this list, go down to every single program in which you're confident you don't need opening automatically, select the program, go to the bottom right, and select Disable. We can also navigate down to our task icon tray, clicking on this up arrow, and start exiting out of any programs we know we don't need open in the background whilst we're using our PC. Make sure that you don't have excess game launchers open for games you're not going to be running and excess web browsers if you're only using one. Next up is some basic system maintenance in which I would recommend applying around about once every month or so to ensure that your system is running as well as it can and also freeing up some storage space. For this we're going to navigate to the bottom left hand side and type run. Press enter. Inside of the Windows run box we're going to be typing in percent temp percent and pressing enter once again. Once we've bought inside of this folder go all the way from the top to the bottom highlighting everything. Right click and select delete. If a pop-up comes up, simply click do this for current items and hit continue. If you're then met with this action cannot be completed pop-up, hit do this for current items and hit skip. Everything we just deleted was an excess caching file, dump file, just sitting on our system and not being cleared up automatically. Once that's been cleared out, exit out, head back down to the Windows button again, type run again, press enter. This time we're going to be typing in temp, but removing the percentage signs either side of this. So just temp, press OK. Select continue, highlight everything with inside of here, right click, select delete. And again, if you are met with any pop-ups, hit do this for all current items, then hit skip. Next up, we're going to be making use of the Windows Disk Cleanup tool. This is a very simple, quick, and effective tool to use. Navigate down to your Windows button, type disk space cleanup. Select the disk cleanup application. We're then going to be selecting our C drive. Once inside of here, navigate to clean up system files in the bottom. Select your C drive again, then select OK. By selecting Clean Up System Files, this is going to remove and delete all of the backup data from your old Windows installations. Let's say that you have recently updated to Windows 11. You like how Windows 11 is, you don't want to downgrade back to Windows 10, or well, we can actually remove those old Windows 10 files which are just simply sat on your system as a backup. Again, these are not deleted automatically and could be taking up to 10 gigabytes of space. If you want to keep those Windows Update files, if you want to revert back to the previous version of Windows, you just simply will not check the Windows Update Cleanup leave this unchecked. But for me, I'm happy with Windows 11, I'm going to be keeping it, so I'm going to delete this. We can then proceed to start highlighting every single section with inside of it. We're going to be removing our shader caches, emptying our recycling bin, and pretty much just ticking everything. If you notice something with inside of it you want to keep hold of, uncheck it. But once you're done, you'll see the total amount of space we're about to clean up, and select OK, delete files, and the disk cleanup utility will then run. This can take a few moments depending on the speed of your system and how much data you are removing. For a quick performance fix, we can actually navigate down to the bottom left-hand side, search for advanced, system settings. 
Click on the View Advanced System Settings panel. Inside of here, navigate to Performance and go to Settings. Inside of here, you'll have a few options in which we can use to customize Windows. And depending on the speed of your system, we can actually remove a lot of these excess fancy features to make the operating system look nice. My personal recommendation would be to navigate down to Adjust for Best Performance. If you don't like how this looks, you can always jump back into this section and just select Adjust for Best Appearance, where it will re-enable all of the options and your operating system, text and animations will all be back. If you are going to go down to Adjust for Best Performance, the only options I'd recommend keeping on are show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts. Reply, select OK, and you will notice that your operating system will look slightly different and your text should look a bit sharper. Next up, we're going to be enabling a feature which was introduced with Windows 10, but it's actually fantastic for Windows 11. For this, we're going to be navigating down to our Windows button, searching for Storage Sense. Select Turn On Storage Sense. Under the Storage section, navigate down to Storage Management, select Storage Sense, and ensure that Storage Sense has been switched on. This is automatically going to go through your files, organize them, and delete excess duplicate files, and start moving out applications and files you are not using and help you remove temporary data. You can customize this program by navigating into the Advanced Options, where you can set up backup options, and it's also a fantastic and easy way to see where a lot of your data is accumulated. If you do have a lot of files in your system and you're not entirely sure where all of this space is being taking up from. We can then go ahead and exit out. We're going to navigate down to our file explorer and head over to this PC. Inside of this PC, I want you to go inside of your desktop, downloads, pictures, music, and all of your drives and folders and start removing excess rubbish you no longer need. If you have video files or movie backups, games downloaded that you no longer play, just simply remove it. If your internet is decent enough to be able to get you these items back in a relatively quick fashion, get them off of your PC. Re-download it if you ever need it. Take around about 5, 10, 15 minutes to do this depending on how much you have in your PC. But anything that you are deleting is not important and you can get it back or you no longer need it. We can now move over to removing excess programs, files, applications and games. For this we're going to be navigating over to our Windows button, typing in remove, selecting add or remove programs. Inside of here I would recommend going all the way from the top to the bottom, selecting any programs you don't need, clicking on the three dots and selecting uninstall. This is especially important for games if you have somewhat decent internet. And that's just the basic way that we're going to add or remove program. With all of the basic system maintenance, prep and boring stuff out out of the way, we can now move over to the bulk of the optimizations in this video. That leads us on to the main optimization in this video, where we're going to be jumping in and de-bloating Windows 11. For this, we're going to be using the This Is Win 11 tool by Built by Bell. You can either use the link in the description down below, or you can simply do a Google search. All credits go to Built by Bell for creating this fantastic and easy to use utility for Windows 11. You can find all of their links to their website, GitHub, donation links, and where to support them for creating this on the GitHub page. But you can also scroll down, see the basic features of the program, the changelog, what's been added, how to install it, and how to use it. And if you do like the tool, you can consider donating to them via PayPal or any of their support links. Proceed to scroll down until we find the download and installing tab. Select the download directly from GitHub link, then select the blue hyperlink for click here to download the latest version of This Is Win 11. Once you've selected the link, proceed to scroll down on the page, navigate down to assets, then select the TI Win 11 zip. Once that's downloaded, select Open. We're then going to drag the application and the data folder onto our desktop. To find that this is Windows 11 application, double click on this, navigate to more info, then select run anyway. Select yes, and the application will open up. I'd recommend navigating to the top right to full screen this so you can see everything. Once inside of the main page, navigate to the bottom right hand side and select the slider. You'll then be brought to the customization page. Navigate to the bottom and select customize Windows 11. On the right hand side of the screen, you'll see a bunch of options which you can either select or deselect depending on what you want to do for your main optimizations. For this, we can start off by going into settings and clicking the plus sign to expand this. In settings, we're going to be creating a brand new restore point automatically. It's a great option to keep selected, so we're going to keep that on. Inside of personalization, these are all of the settings it's going to automatically apply once we apply them. You can have your apps to use dark mode by default. If you want that enabled, select the check mark next to this. You can use the Windows dark theme by default by selecting the check mark next to this. This is mainly going to come down to your personal preference. If you see any features with inside of any of these lists that you do want to keep, just simply unselect them or select them to either keep or remove them. Navigating down to the third party tab, here's where we can block Windows 11 telemetry with Windows Spy Blocker that is definitely recommended to do so. You'll see a boost in performance from that and you can also remove spyware. Inside of the system tab, we can remove stuff like the fax printer and other unnecessary services, which we're not going to be using. Navigating down to Windows Update, we can choose to uninstall broken Windows 11 updates by reverting those specific updates back which have broken the operating system or made it worse. Inside of gaming, we can choose to disable the game DVR feature disable power throttling and adjust visual effects for best performance, providing us with much better full screen experiences with inside of most games and helping us maintain a better performance for longer. Privacy, 
You can enable or disable any of these options. I would recommend keeping the default ones on, but please do read through these before just simply selecting them. And app permissions. This is defaultly going to disable application permissions to all of the following apps. The only time in which I have recalled this being a bit of a hassle is, is disabling apps from using your camera and microphone. This can be quite annoying if you're using a web browser like Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge to make some sort of a call, whether through the Zoom website or something like Facebook. If you're planning on doing a video call, this may stop that from working. So you may want to have these two options disabled. Once you are happy with your entire selection list, navigate to the bottom right hand side and select fix issues. This is going to open up the Windows terminal. You'll see programs and applications and things changing in the background. This is completely normal as it's applying all of the fixes and updates in which you have selected. Once we're done with that tab, head back over to the home section on the left hand side. Once we're done with this section, we can move over to the next section by going to the bottom right and selecting the next slider. This is where we can customize our Windows start bar. Navigate over to configure settings. It will boot you into the Windows start bar default settings. Here's where you can customize if you want to show recently opened and closed apps, show your most used apps, and select specific folders that you want quick access to with inside of the Windows start menu. Once we're done with inside of there, select next. Here's where we can choose the options for removing bloatware. Head over to the remove bloatware tab. With inside of here, we need to create our custom bloatware removal list. This is very simple and easy to do. On the left hand side, it's going to pre-select a bunch of different applications which are defaultly installed to Windows and which you may want to remove. You can simply select to move all of the applications, where it will then remove them over to the right hand side into our removal list. So any programs which are now listed on the right hand side of your screen are the ones in the removal list which will be deleted when you select the button. If you want to restore any of these programs or add them back over to the non-removal list, hit restore. So let's say that I want to make a specific list of program. Let's say that I want to remove the Windows Photo app. I would select this, then select Move Selected. And you continue to do that for any and all applications that you want completely removed from your system. Once you've customized your dblock list and you are happy with it, select Empty Bin. Select Yes, and this will then begin to remove all of those programs in which you selected. Once that stage has been completed, head back over to the home section once again. For the last tab with inside of this tool, it's going to bring you over to the new Microsoft Store section. Selecting install packages here is going to allow you to create a custom package of programs which you can automatically download and install on your system. This is quite useful, especially for those of you that have done a clean installation and you don't have any apps downloaded. You can install stuff like Steam and create a custom package. We're not going to be covering that in this video as we're going to be focusing on de-bloating our systems. We can then navigate down to the automate task section by clicking on this button. Here are a few quick and easy scripts in which you can run with inside of Windows to enable or disable some features. Let's say that you want to reinstall all of the built-in apps such as the Xbox app, Groove Music or any app in which you've deleted. You can simply select the option, then select Run Selected. The only options in which I definitely recommend applying with inside of it, if you don't use Microsoft OneDrive, select Remove OneDrive. I would also recommend enabling the ultimate performance power mode by selecting this section. Bypass Microsoft Edge as the default handler of web searches. We're going to disable privacy services, remove telemetry from third party apps, and we can also clean up windows. Under the Clean Up Windows section, here's a quick brief rundown of everything this is going to be deleting and removing. Again, select any and all of the options on the right hand side you may want to run. Once they are selected, select Run Selected, yes. You'll then be notified that those tasks have been executed successfully. What we can then go ahead and do is navigate onto the left-hand side once again to the three dots to the last section. Here are a few last settings and optimizations you may want to set depending on your system needs. These are more advanced and most people won't need to use these, but if you want to do things such as disabling the TPM 2.0 check for Windows 11 for other systems or the system in which you're using, you can do so with inside of here. For the most part though, that should be you completely done with all of the optimizations. We can then go ahead and exit out of this is Win 11. The only thing I'd recommend doing quickly is to navigate down to the bottom left, right click on your power button and choose to do a quick system restart to make sure that everything has been deleted, our new updates are ready to be installed and everything is completely fresh when Windows has been restarted. And you'll then be booted into your brand new completely de-bloated and optimized Windows 11. Another quick thing to note after all of the optimizations have been applied, if you go to use any applications such as Notepad or any other inbuilt Windows apps and you notice that you can't find them in Windows search, well they may have accidentally been removed. If this is the case, you can obtain them again very quickly and easily by navigating to the bottom left hand side, searching for store and opening up the Microsoft Store. Once inside of the Microsoft Store, head up to the search bar at the top, then simply search for the application in which you are missing. In my case, this is Windows Notepad. Once I've searched for Notepad, navigate down to the Windows Notepad application, 
select enter, then just simply select the download button which will be available with inside of here. Once it's finished downloading, select open, and it's now back and available on our PC. This will work for any of the official Microsoft apps in which you may be missing. Once that's then been installed, as you can now see, if I search for notepad on the bottom left hand side, notepad is now available for me. And this is only scratching the surface of what's available for Windows 11 in terms of optimizations, settings, and things in which we can do to enhance performance across the board, and which will be coming to the channel soon, so make sure that you are staying tuned for that. And there you guys have it. That is my Windows 11 performance and debloating guide. Please do consider pressing that subscription button as it helps me out tremendously. And if you want to see some more optimization videos, which are highly recommended for all of you watching, check out the videos on screen now.